Currently, Nigeria is facing multiple burdens of malnutrition, including undernutrition, overnutrition, micronutrient deficiencies, as well as diet related non communicable diseases. Poor quality diets are the main cause of malnutrition. Therefore, worldwide nutritionists are forging multi-sector partnerships to ensure that our food systems provide good quality and healthy diets. One effective way of improving the diets and addressing the multi-burdens of malnutrition at the same time is the consumption of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are found in large variety and abundance in Nigeria. However, the consumption of these gifts of nature have been reportedly low in Nigeria. This project aims at addressing malnutrition among low-income urban population in Nigeria and Vietnam by increasing intake of fruits and vegetables through food system innovations that improve access through the diversification of retail outlets, enhance affordability through a client-specific coupon system, and boost acceptability through promotional campaigns and behavior change communication. The project was implemented at the same time in Ibadan, Nigeria and Hanoi, Vietnam. This project was funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and coordinated by the Wageningen University in the Netherlands. It involved many partners including the University of Ibadan, Bioversity International, SEAT, IFPRI, and the Hanoi Medical University, National Institute of Nutrition in Hanoi, as well as Rikoto. We kicked off in 2019 with the selection of two communities in Ibadan, Bagadaye and Abeja located in Akinyele local government area. 1,200 households were listed in the communities and a total of 600 eligible households were recruited for the study. And within the household, eligible study participants were non-pregnant females of reproductive age, that means 18 to 49 years old, and also we recruited the adult males within their households. So we started off with work package one, which consisted of a series of studies, baseline studies, to give us the needed information for the project interventions. So after the community entry, we first of all carried out a seasonality study, which consisted of a series of focus group discussions in the community. In these focus group discussions, we explored the diversity, sources, seasonal availability and preferences of fruits and vegetables in these communities, so as to gain a deeper understanding of the influence of seasonality on fruit and vegetable consumption in the area. Affordability has been associated with low consumption of fruits and vegetables, particularly in low-income households. So secondly, we conducted a barrier analysis study where we tried to understand drivers and barriers to the consumption of fruits and vegetables in the communities. So next, we had to do a household baseline survey between March and April 2019, where we tried to get information on household characteristics, dietary intake, anthropometry, and other data that is related to nutrition and markets um, in the area. Then after that, we moved into the markets for the market level assessment. We did this among so many retailers so that we could understand how retailing dimensions could help us to understand the possible pathways to change fruits and vegetable intake among the study population. So this involved 87 retailers from within the study communities, that is Abaeja and Bagadaje, as well as 180 from the two major markets around that area, which is Ojo and Monia. We did this market level assessment in four phases. We had the scoping exercise, the retailer census, the main market level survey, as well as the measures or the weight conversion survey. Well equipped with the wealth of data collected in the preliminary and baseline surveys, the research team proceeded to plan and implement project intervention activities known as Work Package WP2. The key tripartite intervention priorities were Improving accessibility through consumer-focused retail innovations WP2A Enhancing affordability using price incentives and motivation WP2B And 
promoting acceptability through communication and information dissemination on the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables WP2C. The intervention designs emphasized the use of co-creation as a science-based action learning process which allows for joint reflection, learning and innovation among researchers and research participants. Work Package 2A was a consumer responsive retail intervention which addressed issues around the point of sale of fruits and vegetables. We worked with several retailers and vendors during the market level assessments in a co-creative process and we also trained these vendors over a period of about 24 weeks. This was a rallying cry for our vendors during these co-creation workshops. So the main questions we asked vendors was what can be done to make customers buy more fruits and vegetables. We put their answers together during the co-creation process and we ended up with three time cycles of interventions that came out of this process. Innovations such as branded pallets, umbrellas, vegetable hangers, stepwise counters and aprons were designed, produced and distributed to the vendors. Innovations were bespoke, which means that they were customized according to the vendor's request and validated need. In addition, vendors participated in training sessions on bookkeeping, hygiene, customer service and product display. Detailed records of sales of fruits and vegetables were collected weekly from March to October 2021. I umbrella. No, <laughs> Work Package 2B involved a randomized control trial that was designed to test the extent to which affordability was a major barrier to increasing fruit and vegetable intakes and whether receiving vouchers can change consumption habits among consumers. This aspect of our study sought to answer the question, will consumption habits change after a long period of receiving coupons? Fruits and vegetable coupons were distributed to 400 households for 22 consecutive weeks. A coupon was worth 200 naira. However, 200 households got 400 naira worth, while the remaining households got 800 naira worth. The grouping of households into either 400 or 800 naira worth was done by random selection. Participants were only allowed to receive mandated fruits and vegetables indicated on the coupon. We worked with microfinance institution called Capital State Technology, both on developing a coupon management system and for redemption. Capital Sage provides an interesting repayment method as their agents circulate in Ibadan, acting as mobile points of sale terminals for basic transactions. Logging coupons on the system with their mobile phone the reimbursement value is transferred to the vendor's mobile wallets. Vendors can cash out their mobile wallets by visiting capital stage agents in the market. Uh, a USSD code was employed for the redemption of the coupons, while the vendor had to follow the direction of the USSD code to authenticate and lock the consumer's coupon and further claim their monies from a financial institution after verification from the latter. Emmanuel Oluwa Shekun awa ni agbegbe ije fun ni abeja gbogbo ipade te pe wa si ta jo juro rode lori ta jo fun so kan lori awon ta jo fun so kan lori titi di igba titun yen ka se ni le ni gba gbogbo nkan yen pata ni e fi si oju ise te lo ni akoko yen be ni mo saki si awon oloja te ba se ipade te si ba soro nepa iso ati ewe be nepa bi won se nta iso won bi won se gbe kale ati awon nkan ti mo ri te gbe fun won gan te fi npate iso ati ewe be yi adi anfani e o si ose 
ni yawo mi si mo nla nfani lati lo fi coupon yen gba eso orisirisi wa si le fun wa ta mo nde emi gege bi enikan ati idile mi o mu iyato gba dije eso ati ewe be papa julo o ti so mi di eni temi na ni o gba ewe be temi loto oruko mi ni iya afin victoria bosse oye kunle adugo ta wa ni ajoda bagadaje ni ilu mo ni ya ah in fact, ko se amora ta fun yin telo tori e se daada gan mo gbo ti awon ti won bere abere mo si gbo ti awon to je pe won ko rin fun wa bi eso se dara si gbo awon program yen pata ni mo gbo eso ati ewe be nshara lori that is fruits and vegetables are beneficial for the body such as the slogan that rang popularly among our study participants this was one of the outputs of work package 2c which was the third intervention arm of the study. The project team worked with residents of Abaeja and Bagadaje to co-create promotional campaigns to raise the acceptability of fruits and vegetables among low-income residents in Ibadan. At the start of this project, we did a barrier analysis which revealed a low awareness of the importance of daily fruit and vegetable consumption in the focal neighborhoods uh, in Ibadan. Now, in this context, uh, there is a good chance that the promotional campaigns that we implemented will encourage more of adequate fruit and vegetable consumption. And this was the rationale behind uh, Work Package 2C. Uh, in the design, approximately 20 residents from our study were engaged in the co-creation process in dialogue with researchers through a series of workshops. Um, participants helped us design locally relevant activities and targeted messaging for promotional campaigns uh, to encourage their neighbors, uh, families, friends, etc. to eat more fruits and vegetables. Now, the, the campaigns involve several activities and message sharing. We distributed leaflets and posters and teaching aids uh, for the schools and organized activities such as dramas, public service announcements, jingles and expert talks on popular radio stations. Now, especially for radio, the radio spots uh, have reached audiences across Ibadan, even beyond our target group, uh, sparking awareness on, on the benefits of consumption. Uh, of and, uh, as well as the WHO recommended uh, 5 a day uh, intake for fruits and vegetables. And indeed, these campaigns contextualize the condition uh, to our local context. Uh, schools were not left out, especially. Uh, we developed models on um, communicating the consumption of fruits, and these were taught in classes. Um, the students were involved in a competition to create jingles to communicate uh, and promote the consumption of fruits and vegetables within their communities and these were uh, played and, and judged on radio uh, by a mixed panel of study participants and local researchers and we also involved these students in a competition where they created drama uh, that were presented to members of their community uh, to reinforce these messages. The third intervention came to an end in October 2021 and an endline survey was conducted afterward between November and December 2021 to assess the impacts of these interventions in the research communities. While all the various interventions were being implemented, a dietary assessment monitoring survey was done every two months to keep track of participants' consumption before the final endline survey to evaluate the impact of the interventions. Finally, during the last three months of 2021, the endline survey was carried out in four communities. The two experimental communities, namely Abeja and Bagadaji, as well as two others to serve as control. Two communities, namely Ariibi and Akwete, were added to serve as a control experiment, both having similar characteristics to the experimental group. House listing was done and 200 households were recruited in the control communities. The endline survey replicated the baseline survey but included other questions related to the three interventions. The project titled Increasing Fruit and Vegetable Intake of Low Income Population in Vietnam and Nigeria through Food System Innovations was a huge endeavor. 
fondly referred to as fruitiers, that is, fruits and vegetables. In Nigeria, the project duration spanned several seasons, national holidays, and also events such as national elections, mass protest, and conflict, as well as the global COVID-19 pandemic. However, through it all, the team worked collaboratively with the communities and the ever-supportive international partners to achieve all the project objectives. We had a fantastic research team, which spanned disciplines and multiple stakeholders. This was really necessary for inclusivity and so that we could locally contextualize all our transformative food systems research. So although we're so different, we had similar values in our team. And our values include excellence, hard work, tenacity, and discipline. To us, what mattered was doing the work well. The study results will provide valuable insights into how locally designed food system innovations can help to increase fruit and vegetable consumption and therefore promote healthier diets among low-income population in Nigeria and Vietnam. Uh, thank you very much for coming to this program. I'm here to talk about the objectives of the project. Uh, as we can, as we have heard, the title of the project is Increasing Fruit and Vegetable Diversity Among Low-Income Populations in Vietnam and Nigeria Through Food System Innovations. And the aim of the project was actually to address the burden of malnutrition among low-income populations, especially with respect to the intake of fruits and vegetables. Today's objective is to disseminate the findings of the study and also to provide scenarios for how to go ahead in, um, with the results and to scale up these interventions for the benefit of all in Nigeria. Um, like I said, we started the work in 2019 and this is 2022. We want to give you an account of all that you asked us to do. We are really grateful for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation I trust uh, Shelly Sonberg is online uh, listening to us. Thank you for providing the platform for us to collaborate with distinguished scholars across the globe. Wow.